Wow. Today has been what a morning. I've been kind of productive. Not really. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Here's the tea, sister. I don't know how to start this. I have no words for this video because, wow, it's April 22nd, 2019. This week's going to go down in history for me, honestly. In three days, 11 hours, and 21 minutes, I'm going to be sitting in the movie theater and Endgame will be starting. <laughs> it's going to be, okay, how can I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if I could just sit here and go, I am Groot, the entire time, and just explain to you in Groot language how, what I'm feeling, that'd be so much easier, but I can't. <laughs> okay guys, the real reason why I'm here is everyone on social media is like, I am so ready for Endgame. I am so excited. Yay, can't wait, Endgame. Like, woo, haha. <laughs> Three days away, four for some people. Like, yay, Endgame, woohoo. No. Here's the honest truth about Endgame. I am not ready. I am not excited. I am not mentally prepared. And the reason that you clicked on this video is probably because you're not ready, mentally prepared, or excited either. I have no idea what to expect. I think like obviously we all have our little theories, but do any, none of us really have any idea what to expect and I'm scared to see Endgame. Like, <sighs> the only thing I know what I can expect is Thor and Captain Marvel, if you know what I mean. Pretty much in this video, this is gonna be me mentally preparing, getting myself ready for Endgame, getting myself hyped because I don't wanna be sitting in the movie theater like literally scared to death. So the things I need to do to prepare myself for Endgame, wash my Iron Man onesie. I need to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp and Guardians too. I haven't seen those yet and I'm kind of ashamed of myself for that. So I'm going to watch those because I definitely need to see those. If you haven't seen any of the movies, you know, the guys, like, come on, we're almost there. We gotta see the, the only movies I haven't seen are, <laughs> okay, if I'm being honest, just because I feel so ashamed saying that I haven't seen Guardians 2 or Ant-Man. I watched them last week, so, but like, you guys don't know that like I'm filming this after I already watched them, but I got them filmed Last week, so uh, I have seen Guardians 2 and Ant-Man and the Wasp now, so no judgment here. No shade thrown. I'm all caught up I've seen all my Marvel movies, but before um, Technically to you guys. I haven't seen them yet, so I'm really excited to <laughs> You know what? Without further ado, let's get into this video. Your bodies are his children. Out of all my labors, the most big. You look like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Is he cool? <laughs> Hell yeah, he's cool. Aww. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> She was baby group for Infinity War because I didn't like teenage group because he was really snotty. I love my dog. My dog loves me. Baby group just shed a tear and it was so sad. Guardians of the Galaxy. Only he didn't use 
Why is Baby Groot swearing? Thank you. Guys, they all love each other so much. It's too intense. That that was, was a child like you. <sighs> that was so sad. Oh my gosh, whoever thought that I'd get that sad over Yondu dying, but like Wow, and to see Chris Pratt crying not my space baby, okay? Like now that I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and Ant-Man and the Wasp, we're, we're not set at all for Endgame. What was I thinking? You can't mentally prepare yourself for this. If you think you're prepared or ready to see Endgame or excited, you're lying to yourself. Stop doing that. Lying to yourself. <laughs> that keeps spilling water everywhere. Lying to yourself is not okay. Like, guys, I've come to the conclusion that there is no possible way you can mentally prepare yourself for Endgame. This is the end. This is the end, guys. It's the end game. Oh my gosh, it's the end. The first, <laughs> the first time I saw a Marvel movie in theaters, it was the first Avengers. Wow. I remember I was so confused in that movie and I remember being like, what the heck is the Tesseract? And like, why are they talking about leaving it in the ocean? And Loki and Thor are like brothers or what? And I was so confused. And I was like, what happened in Budapest? Which we still don't know about, but, um, oh my gosh, like, Two thousand and twelve. I was eleven years old, guys. I'm seventeen now. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. I guess it's the end.